Hello, it is like 3 p.m. I just got back from the hospital. Um, it is week two of pediatrics. I was inpatient this week. I just saw a whole bunch of really, really cute kids. A lot of uh, asthma, exacerbation, bronchiolitis, um, and all of that stuff. So learned a ton, but I'm so tired. Even though my hours on pediatrics have not been bad, but just like overall body feels tired. Um, and I don't know, part of me is like feeling a little burnouty. Is that a thing? Like burnout adjacent, approaching burnout. Um, and I think it's just because it's the end of my third year and yeah, I'm really feeling it. Like this is my last rotation of third year of medical school. Like if I wasn't taking a research year in a year, I'll be done with medical school. I would be a full fledged doctor. Um, and by no means do you, can you practice like independently um, as soon as you graduate med school, like you have to go through residency, you have to get trained, but oh my gosh, like I would have an MD. Um, but I think it's just because it's like three years into med school and I am, uh, I'm tired. I literally walked through the door. I'm still wearing my scrubs. I'm going to change out of these scrubs. I was so good about studying yesterday. So good about studying. Like I actually, I have been dreading. Let me like sit properly and talk to you guys here. I don't know about the angle is. I've been dreading, um, starting studying because every time I start a new rotation, you know, like, it's there's a learning curve like i don't know everything and so when i start doing questions like i'm not going to do as well because i'll get a whole bunch wrong because i'm just learning the material but i think when you're at the end of a previous rotation when you have like when you know that material relatively speaking and you're scoring really well on your practice question blocks and then to go from like scoring well to scoring really not that well it's like such a decline and you i have to remind myself that this is part of the process like i do not get to the the good scoring without the the scoring over here but it's just like it's just something i have to remind myself of um and to not be afraid of i think i don't know why i think it's a human thing to be afraid of failure and that's true and to and be afraid of doing things badly and doing things wrong um but without that you do not learn so yesterday i worked through my mental blocks I got to a place where I was like, I don't care how many questions I get wrong. I'm learning, I'm learning. And so I did a whole bunch of questions, which felt very good. So I feel like I'm on a roll now. And that's also the biggest thing. Like once I get started, it's like, I don't know, Newton's second or third law, like objects in motion stay in motion. So now that I'm in motion, I can't let that momentum go, which means I need to be really good about studying today. Um, and there are like certain things I do to like, get more in the mood for studying and the biggest thing is not being in my scrubs anymore um so i'm gonna change into some sweats into some like comfy clothes i'm gonna make myself some tea and then i'm gonna sit on my desk and get through the shit i need to get through today and that's the plan <laughs> That's literally the fire alarm. I should go. crazy i worked out this morning and it was such a good workout like chef's kiss i don't even know if it's like the workout was good or just the fact that i worked out i think that's more likely the serotonins that you get from working out are so real is it serotonin is it dopamine i feel like i should know this regardless one of those happy neurotransmitters like i feel all of it after a workout so this morning we have a whole bunch of lectures um pretty much the rest of the morning and into the afternoon. I think we get done around three, nope, four. Um, I also heated up some oatmeal 
and I have some coffee and the plan is that before my next lecture starts I just want to like go through some Anki so let's do some work I just wrapped up one of my lectures this morning and I have a little bit of time before my next one I think I'm finally like figuring out what's like working for me in terms of studying like I think for so much of med school it's just like trial and error I used to be a huge like writing my notes out kind of person in college um, and even during like my post back like I would write down everything and it really helped but you cannot do that in med school like it's too much and too inefficient to do that um, for me personally um, I know so for some people it might work, but I just I'm not that person I also like very much enjoy having a life outside of medicine So it's like really important for me to be like the most efficient when it comes to studying What has really helped is like doing you world questions um, Practice questions and Anki and everyone talks about you world. It's like the question bank that pretty much everyone uses their third year um, of med school, but it's really like using it well using it every single day and really using it as like a, a learning tool and i talked to you guys like i don't know like a day or so ago and i was telling you that i was like really scared to start because i think at one point you like start because you get a percentage for every block that you do and like how many you get right and i think you can get a little tied to that percentage and like i don't know in a way like use that to be like oh i'm doing well i'm not doing well which is fair right like if you see a percentage and it's good or bad it like you are going to respond to it it's like so innate in us but to really like uncouple that thought this is just a percentage like it's not about where i'm at or how well i'm doing or any of that it's about how much i learned i was like really struggling with starting because i really didn't want to see those like first a few blocks where you just like you don't know any of the information so you're scoring like not really that well at all i realized that that was keeping me from actually doing the work and like learning the information once i got started doing the questions like it's been so much easier to kind of do them every single day because it's just like you know like momentum like i know what i need to do and now like i'm gonna do it it's wild how much that stuff helps like doing the questions and then being very very consistent with Anki I think that has been like the most effective for me and part of it is that now that I'm studying for step two or like at least thinking about step two I'm not studying for it I'm barely like started studying for pediatrics which is my current rotation but um now that I'm thinking about step two it really is just about doing what works and then scaling it so that I can kind of encompass more information and I was listening to this one podcast the other day about how time or the time that you assign a task the task ends up filling that time essentially what it was trying to say was that if you allot two hours to do something the work even if say if you'd given yourself an hour you would have gotten it done in an hour but because you gave it two hours it's gonna now take you two hours to finish the same thing i'm kind of in that like headspace i know i know when it's crunch time and i have to do the work i do it so much quicker like when i see like an exam approaching like i'll get through so many questions so much faster um where, versus like earlier on in the block i like waste time sometimes i'll get distracted so i'm i've been really like working on minimizing distractions when i do my practice questions or when i do anki and i am not perfect at it by any means but even just recognizing has made such a big difference because it like will literally cut my time in half when i'm when i can sit there and my brain is like oh you know your friend's bachelor is coming up like you should look at something over here or your friend's wedding is coming up like look at a dress for this and then if you can just sit there and be like nope i'm not gonna do that i need to do these questions and just like reorient your brain to like what needs to be done in that time it's life-changing and it's like really cut down on the amount of time i've been spending doing questions um and anki and again it's just it's a work in progress and i know i'll keep getting better at it as long as i like keep at it but that's been something that's been really really helpful and it's like kind of changed the game for me when it comes to studying or at least like just being more efficient with studying i started all of this just to say that the two things that have really worked for me third year are you world and anki used anki somewhat like sporadically throughout my first like two years of med school like for anatomy or something just to like sheer memorize something i would like use it but i never used it consistently and i didn't even use it like 
all essentially like so much of my third year until I started internal medicine and then I was like this is so much information like I really need to like find an efficient way of like keeping it all in my head and I kind of wish I had started it much much earlier because it's such a good tool and especially for someone like me I was trying to explain it to somebody the other day I was like my brain is kind of like a child like I need to keep if I let it not put in any effort, it will not put in any effort. So if I just like read a material or watch a video, it just does not work for me. I need to constantly test it in order for the information to stick. So Anki is like the perfect tool for me because I'm like constantly testing myself and my memory. So it really, really helps in that way. It's crazy how much of a process it is to like just figure out how your own brain works and how you work. Um, and I'm so, so grateful that so much of my med school has been pass fail because it just allows you to try a whole bunch of things until you figure out what works for you. It's like a never ending process in a lot of ways, but if you know, like you really do need to fail at times to like figure out whether something's working or not. So I'm gonna go back to my lecture. I have an in-person lecture this afternoon. I think it has something to do with injections. Like I think we're, I think we're injecting ourselves. And oh my God, that sounds weird. I think we're like learning how to inject or like uh, learning how to do immunizations by like injecting each other with saline so that should be fun um i think it's voluntary though so i don't think like we're forced to do it but yeah it is what it is and then today i actually have a really fun day planned for myself at 6 p.m i told myself i'm gonna cut off doing any work whatsoever like i'm not i'm doing no work and i'm just going to go get some dominoes i get this thin crust tomato sauce with like mushroom garlic onions sometimes jalapenos pizza and then i'm gonna put on a movie and i'm just gonna take it easy the rest of the evening so i'm gonna be done with every i don't care where i'm at at 6 p.m i'm gonna be done with it i'm gonna go get myself some dominoes i'm gonna get real comfy put on a movie and eat my dominoes and i cannot wait it's like the little things in life but yeah until then gotta get some work done I wanted to show you guys a cotton candy sunset. Actually, now it's more like sad looking sunset. Like, look at that. Look at that line. It was a very pretty sunset. Um, I just got home like a second ago from the injection clinic, which I'm so glad that I got to film something for. Um, just to kind of show you guys what we did today and we learned how to inject it was very very fun it's like 6 p.m which like i told you guys is my cutoff time for today so i'm going to change it to something comfy um my boyfriend his sister and a cousin is actually coming over for my movie night they're joining me which makes me happy um so we're all going to do like a collective movie night and take out so that's the plan for today hey guys so i realized i never ended this vlog so i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.